You may be wondering what I'm doing in Ireland. Well, it's a long story involving an airplane. That's it, pretty much just an airplane. I, I took an airplane, bro. So yeah, I'm vibing in Ireland, and apparently Dublin has a Burger King. Anyway, our first stop was Ireland's oldest pub, which is called Sean's Bar, and apparently it dates back to 900 AD. Guys, this building doesn't go back. Like, it's just the front of the building. Welcome to Galway, Ireland, birthplace of the guy who killed King Charles I, and also the place where this guy told this story. <laughs> could be very delight. How could you be very delight? It'd be by accident. You could be in a coma. Just say we're in a coma. Everything's just a modern machine needs more for sure that we're actually dead. And sometimes people are very prematurely. By the time they woke up, it was too late. They were inside the coffin. Can you imagine it? So they invented all sorts of stuff, all sorts of things to stop it from happening. My favorite one, the simplest method, was the string and bell. Have you ever heard of the yeah. string and bell? Yeah. They were yeah. trying to string onto your hand inside the coffin nice yeah. and tight, up to a hole in the ground, onto a bell on the outside, so you can start ringing the bell if you woke up in the coffin. That's how you got saved by the bell, yeah. by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Or became yeah. a dead ringer, and every other dead ringer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. By the way, an even better one comes from the grave robbers. Have you ever heard of grave robbers? What do grave robbers look for, do you think, when they're looking for a grave? Oh. Yes. What they're usually looking for is the body itself. I was willing to pay good money. Do you know the best part of the story by far? In the late 1800s in Dublin City, so many bodies were being stolen, they had a surplus. Too many dead bodies. What did they do with the surplus of dead bodies? They hid them on ships going to North America, Northern Europe. Now, you would have to ask straight away, how are you going to preserve the body crossing the sea? How are you going to do it? No refrigeration? There's no ice back in them ships? How do you do it? Salt was very expensive. No, whiskey. Whiskey was your best bet. You get the dead body into the barrel of whiskey. Whiskey's an actual preservative. You take it out on the other side, you say nothing to nobody, and you sell on the whiskey afterwards. And that happened all the time, and some people actually believe that's the origin of a stiff drink. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that such a funny story? Anyway, my hotel looks like the back rooms. I think I'm lost. Please help. Hey, wouldn't this video be funnier if I switched voices like every 30 seconds? Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. There's a lot of hills here, it's very beautiful. Sort of color between like yellow and blue, I think. Not really sure what to call it, but very nice color. I think it's pretty gnarly. We're all loving it out here in, where are we again? I think it's Texas, somewhere in the hills of Texas. Uh, yeah, and we're all vibing, bro. Surf's up, dude. All right, dudes, like, I don't know what this thing is, but it's like, it's mountainous. I don't know what it's called, but it's so mountainous, bro. <laughs> Totally surf in this harbor, dude. Look at these waves, man. This is tubular, bro. Yo, look at these tubular tubers, bro. They're tubing, bro. It's so tubular. How tubular this mountain is, bro. It's shaped like a bowl. I could totally eat some acai out of that, bro. Just imagine building a house like that with a token of love for your wife. The little church inside. Skipping a rock at Ireland. This moss. I can harvest this and consume it for sustenance. And here we observe. A wild horse, grazing in its natural habitat. All kinds of amazing wildlife. Out here in Ireland, wild artichoke growing in its natural habitat. Boiled picnic table in its natural habitat. A wild courtyard in its natural habitat. A brick wall in its natural habitat. As you can see, this is a rare species of wall known as the Venari, native to Ireland. <laughs> oh, would you care for a spot of tea? I do say, chaps. This tree is totally righteous, bro. It's bodacious, man. Like, it's hard to convey the sense of scale from, like, just from video, but it's so righteously big. It's mountainous, bro. Yo, that tree took a brutal wipe out, dude. As you can see here, a wild banana plant in its natural habitat. How does it feel to be a banana? It's a bee. And as you can see here, the horse has now duplicated. Mitosis really is something. Ireland is such a beautiful nation. And now we're leaving the wee castle behind. I just bought this radical sheep from the gift shop, bro. He's so gnarly. Next, we passed through the hometown of the guy who invented the submarine. Then we went to see these sheepdogs, and they were very cute, and they did roll over, and they did herd the sheep very well, and we did get to pet them after, and they did have chocolate bars, but not feastables, and I did buy this hat, and I do look like him now. Next up, we went to the Cliffs of Moor, which are these really big cliffs, and I followed this sign, and I didn't do this, and this did not happen. But I did really want to slide down this part. Hey, what's with all these warning signs? Active rock falls and landslides? Ha! I laugh in the face of danger. Oh, gnarly, an electric fence. Cha, I found a secret door. You see these cliffs out here? It's so radical, dude. So then I hopped a couple borders, and just look at this. It doesn't even look real. 
Next, we went on a ferry that is definitely not controlled by the Illuminati. Definitely not. The ice cream was good, though. This room is so gnarly, bro. Whoa, they have mini golf. This is so rad. I did it. I'm goaded, bro. I'm actually cracked. Well, yes, I did enjoy practicing my putting technique. Next, we went on this horse-drawn carriage. Wait, my bad, it was this horse-drawn carriage. Anyway, we went on a nice, peaceful trek through nature. It was very quaint, and we ended up at this castle. Hey, chat, is this canon? Do you guys think I'm still getting more popular, or do you think I've hit my peak? I just recovered from being sick, so my apologies if I sound a bit hoarse. Womp womp. Sorry about that, but not really. Anyway, next town. This is definitely the coziest store I've ever been in. Water. Earth. <laughs> Air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. This is a ludicrous number of hats. Who needs this many hats, bro? Who needs this many hats? LeBron James. Oh, it's just a wee defibrillator. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have a Guinness Zero, which is just beer, but without alcohol, because I'm a child. <laughs> it was literal due to water, I think I'm gonna stick to my cherry soda. <sighs> this is Blarney Castle, and millions of people come here every year to kiss a rock. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> that was so gross. <laughs> the jungle can be a very dangerous place if you're not familiar with your surroundings. So stay alert, and stay informed, or something, I don't know. We are now deep in the heart of the Amazon jungle, looking for uh, snakes. Guys, I think I'm lost. I don't know where I am. This appears to be uncharted jungle territory. No sign of any wildlife at the moment. My bones are shaking. Oh, never mind, never mind, I found the exit. As a certified plant expert, I can tell you that this plant is known as the Gamara Mokahita. I know that's off the top of my head. Guys, I literally can't do the accent, I'm so bad. This is so gnarly though, like this is actually... This is beautiful. Crikey! A wild mountain goat did its natural habitat! So rad, dudes. That is so tubular. Real fact, did you know that the horned lizard can shoot jets of blood from its eyeballs? Isn't that sick? Hakuna Matata! Did you guys know that birds have hollow bones? Isn't that wild? First comment to tell me what kind of tree this is gets pinned. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, or this goat will break into your house. You don't want this goat breaking into your house, guys. You don't want that. Trust me. Look at this gnarly tunnel, bro. I'm totally going through this gnarly tunnel right now. Look out! Tower. Guys, this is actually, like, the coolest thing ever. This is actually, like, breathtaking. Guys, this wall is indestructible. It's made of bedrock. Caves? Chat, we're going to the caves. Head of your mind. We about to do some mining. Chat, we're looking for diamonds. Sound. I'm not scared, you're scared. I almost fell. I think we're in a lush cave biome. Oh, we hit a dead end. We'll try another way. Is there something back here? No, nothing. It's okay, we'll get him next time, chat. Um, what the sigma? Yeah, this is definitely Squidward's tentacle. Did somebody throw paper money in here instead of a coin? Oh, never mind, it's a rock. If you're wondering why I'm not doing the voice anymore, it's because I'm like actually in awe of how beautiful this place is. A wild airplane in its natural habitat. And now we're leaving the other castles behind. And now we're going to the shops. Bird in its natural habitat seems to be looking for food. They're all crowding around for the popcorn. Bro, they're devouring this food. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. Largest Irish shop in the world. That is a bold claim. Okay, this is big, but I don't have money, so I think I'm gonna leave. I'm glad this place is ship free. I really hate ships. Then I broke into a glass blowing factory. I don't know how nobody noticed me, but it was really interesting to see the process of how all this stuff is made. This place does, however, look exactly like Aperture Laboratories. Chat, what is bro doing? What's down this hallway? And what's in all these boxes? Unfortunately, I never got the answers to any of those questions, but what I did get is this evil robot that tried to kill me, so I shut it down, but that made this guy really sad. I also saw a bunch of awesome crystal sculptures like this one, and all of these, and this one that's dedicated to Obama, and this one where he's surfing those waves, dude. And I did manage not to steal anything, which wasn't hard because this clock doesn't even work, bro. Moving on. Permanent tablespoon. This thing does not move, guys. Ice. Erm. Um, that knows where it's coming from. This is the largest wood carving in Europe. This is the largest wood pretzel in Europe. This is the largest wood Dumbledore in Europe. And this poor guy got turned into wood because he didn't hit the bell icon. And this band played the Rattlin' Bog, which just happens to be my favorite Irish song ever. <laughs> It's 
sister sussy. I'm not sorry. Yo, the new GMC just came out. Check this out, chat. Lurian watch repairs. McCoy solicitors. Vikings that look like chairs. Cathedral of water fared. Alley that makes me scared. Vikings with gnarly hair. Waterford city square. Ding read and copping gear. Real estate adversaries. Building that needs repair. Untimely summer wear. Can you get out of there? This building's tubular. S 1960 fair. How'd they get paint up there? Thomas Francis Miguel. Bad weather nomad hair. Where is this dog's own air? Who even put that there? Going back up the stairs. I think I'm lost in hair. The Harry Potter stairs. How do they float on air? What if you fell down there? Beautiful wallpaper. Tour guide named Alistair. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell at the end. Favorite joke? Two monkeys in a bath. One says, oh, 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 ha, ha, ha. The other says, well, put some cold water in then.